dear fabulous friends. This isn't an easy video to make and it's not going to be the normal sort of video that you see. Yeah, but I have been completely overwhelmed by the good wishes, the love and the support that you've shown me on this channel and on my Instagram as well. So you are wonderful ladies and I really adore you. And I sincerely wanted to thank you and you've really kept me going. I wanted you to know that and I just can't thank you enough for that. So I felt that I owed it to you to explain what happened and I really wanted to share my health scare with you to make people realise that, that this sort of thing can happen to anyone, anytime. Now as you know, um, hopefully you know, I've just recovered from Covid and this has sort of left me with fatigue and I'm feeling under the weather. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this sort of thing. And added to that, I've been feeling really, really stressed in the days leading up to last Thursday. And then on Thursday night, I woke in the middle of the night with terrible pain running all down my arm, right to the end of my hand, down to my fingers. And when I got up, the pain had extended through to my back and ran right through my body to my heart. You know, I just put this down to a bad night's sleep, as you do, and, um, and I carried on and I went with my husband to the local supermarket to buy food. And then in the supermarket, it just got worse and worse and worse. And I ended up clinging to the supermarket trolley, you know, the, the handle of it, um, to hold me up. And by then, my breathing had become very difficult. I had chest pains down my arm, through my back, and I just felt faint and dizzy, almost unable to stand. Now, the supermarket ladies were absolutely lovely, um, especially the first aid lady. Um, they put me in a wheelchair and they told my husband to call 111. Uh, which he did and the man on the medical line assessed my symptoms really quickly and immediately called an ambulance for me and then as we waited for the ambulance I deteriorated even further my hands had gone numb by then I could hardly breathe they lay me down on the floor and and held my held me down um, and, and they got that AED you know the ones that you see on the TV programs all the time for cardiac arrest and I thought this is it I'm gonna die and then all I could think was, no, no, no. And to be honest, I was in so much pain, I couldn't think anymore. And my husband said I was crying out, but goodness knows what I was saying. All I knew was that my mother had died when she was young of a heart attack. And that heart issues are a problem in my family. And now I was gonna die too. Anyway, the ambulance arrived and I got rushed out into it and they squirted something like GTN spray or something, like TNT basically, um, under my tongue, which really reduced the pain and the symptoms. Um, and they did an ECG, which would determine if I'd had a heart attack because that's what it looked like. Now the paramedics then took me immediately to the local hospital, which wasn't very reassuring, um, and they couldn't tell me what was wrong. Apparently I needed tests to see what my heart cardiac condition was like. And then it all became a bit of a blur. I was rushed to the accident and emergency um, and I presented all the symptoms of having had a heart attack. They thought I'd had one. I thought I'd had one. Um, I felt in such pain and so out of it. Um, and they had to give me all sorts of painkillers and drugs and things for the pain. Anyway, I was taken along lots of corridors, given lots of tests, bloods as they called them, uh, two more ECGs, my blood pressure was 195, which apparently is in the critical zone, and they put me on a heart monitor for the whole time that I was in hospital. Now, after the tests, the doctor said I had to stay in hospital. I think it was then that my husband realised it wasn't a stress breakdown. It was something worse than that. And I also began to realise that I wasn't going to be given some magical little tablet and that I could walk out straight away as if nothing had happened. Um, so I know it's irrational, but it's kind of what I was hoping. So then I had a visit from a cardiologist and a raft of doctors who said I needed a CT scan. So that meant a weekend in hospital. Not my idea of bliss. So, so I was put in a ward with five other people with acute medical needs. One of them didn't make it to the morning um, and I was hooked up into a hot monitor for the whole time that I was there. Um, it dawn eventually seeped into the ward and normality returned or appeared to return. Um, breakfast, you can see the picture I took of it here, I don't recommend hospital food, 
but the nursing staff were wonderful. They were sympathetic, they were attentive, professional and really skilled. Now my husband came to visit, hospital visits were restricted due to Covid, of course adding to the sense of isolation, not just for me but for everybody in the hospital. Um, and then finally some good news, the cardiologist had miraculously managed to organise a CT scan for the afternoon. So the afternoon came and so did the scan. After a while, the cardiologist gave me the results of the CT scan. I won't tell you all the details of all this, the weird machine that you get put into. It's like a ring donut, um, but metal. It's a bit kind of otherworldly. Anyway, but they could see no damage to my heart, which was brilliant. Um, but they went on to explain that there was no real proper answer to what had happened to me. He said that in around half of the cases of people coming over 50 coming to hospital with heart pains, they don't actually get to the bottom of what's actually wrong. But anyway, it seems that there was an anomaly in my ECG um, which indicated that I experienced reduced blood supply to my heart. He said I had what is called a cardiac situation. He also said it could have been a muscular problem with the heart, hence the blood supply issue. So I got home, thankfully. Um, my husband picked me up and I was so wonderful to see little baby Chanel, my cat, who many of you know. Um, and today, about four days later, uh, we managed to get the energy together, I've managed to get the energy together um, to actually get down to the beach during one of the times where we want to take time out to relax and enjoy sessions that we're trying to build into my life now. Um, this is actually Sandbanks, um, which is probably one of the most expensive areas in uh, the whole of the UK. The house back up there, for, just for your interest, ladies, um, is worth thirty-five million pounds. Um, so, anyway, um, my husband and particularly I have we've, I've reflected a lot on life since then, and I do want to share this with you because it's been a shock and it's been an emotional trauma, especially as my mother died so young of the same thing. So, on a much more positive note, um, we've planned to try and reduce stress in my life and to organize my pretty heavy workload a bit better. Also, I've developed something which I'm now really keen on. Um, I've developed the diet regime, which will basically be the Mediterranean diet. Um, now, we spend a lot of time in Greece in the summer normally, so it's something we love anyway. Um, and I've got this wonderful book. I'll put a link below. Um, I've forgotten exactly what it's called, but I'll put a link below for you to click on to um, in Amazon. Um, it's not expensive. It's really great. It's got recipes and an explanation of why I chose this is because this sort of diet protects the body from heart disease. It also lowers cholesterol. It controls blood pressure and you lose weight too. So it's really a win-win situation. I'm sure you'll be interested in having a look at it yourselves. I'm also trying to take my own advice that I talked about in my last video actually on positive vibes and summer mindset. I will link that above and down below for you to have a look at if you haven't already. Um, to live more in the present. Now it was a bit ironic wasn't it really that I said it in my video. Um, but not to get too depressed about what might happen to my health. I've really, I have got a bit depressed, I've got to be honest with you ladies, and, and I want to try not to. Um, and how my heart disease may get worse with inevitable consequences, I don't want to have to think about that, but I need to mitigate against it. So I'm trying to react in two ways, basically. Firstly, to take this as a warning sign, to treat myself in a kinder way and to reorganize my life to be less stressed, and the second thing is to use it as much as I can as a positive experience. To take measures to be healthier, uh, to think about what I'm putting into my body, uh, what I'm doing with it, um, and to build in regular moderate movement as well, which I don't do much of. So what I would really like to do, ladies, because you know you are part of my life, a really big part of my life, and I love you very much. So I want to share my experiences with my heart situation with you, um, and to help ladies who may have had similar experiences. I don't know, perhaps you've had a heart attack, or somebody close to you has had a heart attack, um, as I almost did, or even angina, which is also a very serious condition, or any other heart situations. So I will be sharing my experiences, ideas and thoughts with you in my future videos. So watch out for that, as I normally say. And if you or anyone you know and love has a similar heart experience, please do share in our little community of love and support that we have on this channel. I'd love to get your thoughts and views. And if you'd like me to share more about my heart journey as it happens with you, please do comment below. 
um, and I'm so sorry this has been rather a serious video but I promise I will be back to pretty much my normal self in my next video which actually I've already got planned and I think you're gonna love it again it's a bit different but it's all about style and fashion all about styling things up but I think you're gonna really love it so um, I do apologize for this video but the most important thing I want to do is to thank you so much ladies you know you've, you've kind of really got me through this so don't forget, please watch my next video. Um, love you loads and have an amazing day. Lots of love. Bye.